So, I'm super excited about this command center. I think it looks a bomb tastic. And oh God, I'm trying to focus, but Riley just woke up. Un momento. One moment, please. DIYs, furniture flips, hauls, shop with me, you name it, I do it, yeah. Um, subscribe, click that bell, and be a part of my team. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a super cute command center, five different DIYs, all using Dollar Tree items, bomb, yes, inexpensive, simple, say it, what? So I went on Pinterest and I found a whole bunch of pins on different command centers. And I was like, I can recreate this using Dollar Tree products. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Yay. I'm super excited about this because I honestly can't believe how good it turned out, seriously. So let's get into those materials. Thank you, about. <laughs> All right, let's go. So the main materials you're gonna need for these projects are one 11 by 14 picture frame, seven five by seven picture frames, one quote picture of your choice and a certificate picture frame, one dry erase board and an eight by 10 picture frame, the flower and garden planter, two organizer baskets, one wired trash can, clothes pins, push pins, chalkboard spray paint, twine, and of course, burlap ribbon. Okay, so for our first craft, we are gonna be creating a wired note holder. So for this craft, you're gonna need an 11 by 14 picture frame and the wired trash can from the Dollar Tree. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use the wire from the Dollar Tree basket instead of using chicken wire, which is a great alternative because chicken wire can be a nightmare. Trust me. Josie at Life at 50 and Beyond did the same exact craft and hers came out super cute too. So I'm gonna leave her link down below so you guys can check it out if you haven't already. All right, so now I'm gonna use the pegs in the back of the frame to secure our wire into place. You can do this and you can also use hot glue as well to glue it down. So since I use an 11 by 14 picture frame, I have some extra down at the bottom that I need to cover up. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut our sides and add it to the bottom. Now I'm gonna snip the edges off here so we can get a better alignment with our extra pieces. take my twine and I'm going to glue it on top so I can make sure that our wire is secured in place. So to hide the line that was created when we joined the pieces together, I'm going to just use my burlap ribbon. All right, so now I'm gonna push some wire through and I'm also going to glue some of the wire together so we can make sure that it stays together. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this galvanized family sign that I got from Walmart in the clearance section a long time ago. It came with like three different ones of these. Um, and I'm just going to add it 
on top of our burlap. And you can always purchase these galvanized signs. They have like gathered family love and stuff like that at any of your local craft stores. So I know I've definitely seen them at AC Mora and at Michael's. For our second craft, we're gonna be making weekly planning chalkboards using the faux wood five by seven frames. Okay, now I'm gonna take the chalkboard spray paint and I'm gonna spray it onto the glass. Now I'm gonna scribble onto the chalkboard just to make sure that the spray paint has adhered to the glass really well. Now I let this sit for about 72 hours. You don't have to let it sit that long, but the longer that you do leave it, the better it's going to stick. All right, so our third craft is gonna be a dry erase board to-do list. We're gonna be using our eight by 10 frame and the dry erase board. Okay, so after we've painted the frame, we're just going to start to disassemble the dry erase board. Okay, so now we're gonna use our burlap ribbon for some extra character. You're gonna make sure that the wire side is showing and we're gonna add it to the sides. Now when you're adding the burlap to the dry erase board, you just wanna let it sit for a little bit before you actually pull because you wanna pull really tight so that you'll make sure that the burlap is really straight onto the dry erase board. reuse that same clip that came off the dry erase board and I'm going to add it to the frame so that we can keep our dry erase marker there. All right, so for our fourth craft, we're going to be making a paperwork holder slash whatever you want to put in it holder. So I found this cute little saying and I thought that it would be perfect to put as our front portion of our holder. All right, so now we're gonna take the certificate frame. I took the certificate part out and I spray painted it black and I'm going to add it back in. Now, what happened here is I did not like the fact that it was black like that. It just did not look good. So I decided to add the burlap strips to the back. Then after I added the burlap strips to the back, I didn't like the black still on around the frame. So I began to kind of like do a dry brush technique that wasn't working out y'all. It looked terrible. So I just ended up taking the frame, the twine off and painting the whole entire frame. Now to create the folder kind of look, we're just gonna add twine to the front and the back of the frames. So now I'm just gonna take my hot glue and I'm going to glue the front frame to the back frame at an angle so that we can create that folder look. So now I'm just gonna take my burlap ribbon and I'm going to start to add it to the sides here and this is going to enclose our paper holder. Now to secure the burlap together and close it in, we're just gonna take our glue gun and we are going to glue the edges together. So now I'm gonna take that twine and I'm gonna add it to the back like I added it to the front. So our fifth craft is a pen and key holder. So I'm using this scrap piece of wood that I had and then I'm gonna use these baskets that I got from the Dollar Tree and add them to the wood. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half. The top is going to be chalk, and then the bottom, I'm going to stain it a dark brown. So you can definitely go to your local hardware store and pick up a block of wood for under six dollars um, if not you can just always use any of the canvas or harder plaque art pictures that the Dollar Tree has to recreate this same look okay so now I'm going to use these same push pins that I use in another project and we're going to use them as hangers for our baskets For our sixth and final craft, we're gonna be making a mail holder. I'm just gonna take this burlap ribbon that I got from Walmart and I'm gonna wrap it around our flower planter here. So I know in the beginning of the video, I said it was five ways. Obviously, I did my intro before I actually finished all my crafts, but this is the sixth project. I've had this planter for a long time and I was like, look, I need to use it. So we're gonna use it today as a mail holder. this label off of Canva I'll have the site link down below you can choose from tons of different labels and we're just going to use this to cover up the writing in the front of the planter so now I'm gonna do the fit test to make sure it fits in place it's a little bit too big so now we're gonna trim off some more of the white So now I'm gonna take the hard cardstock from the picture frame backing and I'm going to add the label with some spray adhesive All right, now I'm gonna use my chalkboard spray paint and spray that label. So after we've sprayed the label, I'm just gonna take my smaller twine and I'm gonna twist it up and then add it around the label. enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys